Let me ask you a question. Do you know that feeling that after you play for weeks, for months, you don't feel that you're getting better? You feel like you're in a plateau? You know, do you know that feeling? I, I know that feeling. But probably what is happening is that you don't differentiate playing and practicing. And playing, it's not practicing. Okay, so that's very important. So I want to do this video to talk about playing and practicing. So first of all, playing is the most important thing, mainly when you're a beginner and then you have just to connect with your instrument, you ha just have to have fun and play as many hours as you can, uh, jam with the backing tracks, uh, play you know the songs that you like, sing, uh, whatever, just spend time with the instrument. But there's going to be a moment that you have to practice. And what I mean by practicing is you have to look at your mistakes, you have to analyze and be critical and start correcting mistakes and try to play more advanced stuff slowly and uh, giving feedback all the time. So let's say you saw a video of a cool guitar player playing some kind of cool arpeggios with uh, string skipping and you want to try that and uh, so you have to practice because if you just play probably you're never going to improvise or play something like that just out of the bat, right? So, let's say you're going to play here like an E minor arpeggio. So it's not super complicated, but it's not as easy as playing just a pentatonic. Right? Because we have some string skipping. So, let's see the most difficult part of that arpeggio, right? So... So, we have two notes here. And then, you, you skip one string and go to the next uh, uh, G string here. So, that's the difficult part. So, when you're practicing, you have to focus on that problem here, which is the string skipping. So up, down. So we have to think one, two, one, two, one, two, right? And then one, two, one. So we can do one, two, wait, think, position your finger, and then play, right? very slowly and then you have the same problem here so you can always play like wait, think Play the difficult movement. Wait. Play the difficult movement. Until it's more fluent. So if you want to go up. So this string skipping here, right? So it gives some time for you to think and then you're able to play the arpeggio flawless, right? With no, not hitting other strings or whatever, you know. And after you master the, the movement, then you can start trying to play faster. So that's practicing. I'm not playing on top of any backing track. I'm not trying to jam with that arpeggio with my friends. No, I'm just like really concentrating on the movement if the you know the down up 
strings keeping down up strings keeping down up really like focusing on the movement and then after another way of practicing is also analyzing the the notes the intervals right so you have a uh, the tonic the minor third the seventh the tonic so we have e e e right octaves and um the minor third the seventh and the fifth here okay so now you know where are those intervals so if you want to play major it's not a problem and then major seventh I can put the major seventh here too if I want the technical part is the same right two notes per strings um, two notes per string string skipping it's the same technical uh, situation but changing the note so now you can play major you can play minor you can play um, major with the minor seventh you can try to play the half diminished right it's just the flat flat fifth and the diminished as well so diminish the seventh so now you are analyzing the intervals trying to understand the sound and then you can uh, even create uh, the entire um, exercise from major to diminished <laughs> right so now you have an exercise you you know uh, really paid attention on the movement and the technical part this is practicing now after you play that for 20 minutes half hour one hour i don't know but doesn't need to be a very long because it's very hard to have focus for such a long time more than an hour then you go and start playing with your backing tracks or playing with your band with your friends and then you try to improvise and now you're playing and then you try to connect with yourself you know with your intuition with your musicality and just try to connect that those exercises those arpeggios into whatever gen track you have right and maybe it's in E minor maybe it's E major maybe it's a G major so start experimenting so now it's, when you're playing it's not the time to be very analytic it's not good to be you know compare yourself to other players or or is it is it good or not so that's not the time you just get the flow just play and then if you have the technique if you know already the major the minors the diminished so you're good to go to play and then you play for a long time and just try to improvise on top of those exercises that you practice got it so i hope this video is useful for you so leave your comments please ask as many questions as you want so i can do more videos based on your questions subscribe to the channel activate your uh, the notifications right so this is very important so i get more excited to do more videos like this and um, see you on the next video